A misty morning in Vatican City as tens of thousands of mourners and over 4,000 clergy gathered for the funeral of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. There was applause as his simple cedar coffin was brought out and placed on the steps of St. Peter's Basilica ahead of his requiem mass, an extraordinary ceremony as a sitting pope presided over the funeral of his predecessor. Gracious Father, we commend to your mercy Pope Emeritus Benedict, whom you made successor of Peter and shepherd of the church, a fearless preacher of your word and a faithful minister of the divine mysteries. Benedict leaves behind a complicated legacy. For many Catholics, he was a formidable theologian, a brilliant thinker, but he did not tolerate dissent. This gained him support in conservative circles, but he also faced criticism for failing to deal with allegations of child sex abuse by priests. But for those at St. Peter's Square, it was a day to pay respect. It was great, both from a human point of view and for his humility. Not just anyone would give up a papacy. For me, he cemented the faith in the church, because John Paul II opened the church's arms, and then Pope Benedict cemented the doctrine and faith. His humility and his love for the church, his piety came shining through when he entered that balcony for the first time. And I thought, I need to be here because he is my pope. Benedict is to be buried in the Vatican Grottoes, the vast crypt beneath St. Peter's Basilica, the resting place of several of his predecessors.